Electra sent me this cute little all-in-one Pico 2 RP2350 starter kit. The kit is designed for beginners to start their learning journey of Pico 2 RP2350 in a fun and simple way. The kit integrates 17 sensors with different functions on a single board and is equipped with a 2.4 inch TFT color touch screen. The kit is kids friendly as it does not require soldering or wiring and is ready to use straight out of the box. The kit also comes with more than 21 creative tutorials and games from simple to the most advanced level. Me and my 8 year old loved programming this board and enjoyed learning the basics of electronics. In this video, I am going to unbox and show you guys how to program and use this cute little all-in-one kit from Elecrow using Arduino IDE. You can order this kit from Elecrow.com. The product link is in the description below. In the heart of the kit is a dual core Raspberry Pi Pico 2 RP2350 chip. It uses USB Type-C interface for programming and power. The size of the kit is 195 by 170 by 46 mm and weighs around 340 grams making it ideal for young and budding electronic enthusiasts. Inside the kit is an all-in-one starter kit for Pico 2, IR remote control and a USB Type-C cable. The kit has 17 onboard sensors and 20 RGB LEDs with different functions integrated on a single board which are fun to use and learn. Each sensor module has its own unique feature and functionality designed for beginners and idle for getting started. The sensors are all embedded on a unique portable suitcase style kit. This makes it easy for young enthusiasts to learn electronics and programming as there is no need for soldering any wires. Here is the list of the 17 onboard sensors that are part of the kit. The kit offers students a hands-on platform to learn programming through practical experience. The development board comes with 21 courses that are designed to be progressively challenging, engaging and thought-provoking. These courses will guide you step by step to gain all essential knowledge to learn electronics. With a variety of components and detailed tutorials, this kit is ideal for Pico beginners, schools and Raspberry Pi enthusiasts. Here you will become familiar with electronic modules, improve your logical thinking skills, enhance your creative design capabilities by implementing the functionalities of this module through programming. Using C++ programming language, user can complete interesting projects and develop logical thinking and problem solving skills. To program this board, we will be using Arduino IDE. Arduino IDE is a free, easy to use, open source platform and one of the best choice for learning programming. If you need to download and install the IDE, please go ahead and get it from the Arduino's official website. The link is in the description below. The website provides installation package for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. For my demo, I am using Arduino IDE version 2.3.6 and Raspberry Pi development board 4.2.0. To get started, we first need to add the board to our IDE. To do so, click on File, Preferences. Then click on the Paste button and paste the RP2040 board's URL from the description below in the Additional Board Manager window. Then click the OK button twice. Now from the sidebar, click on the Board Manager icon and enter 2040 in the search bar. Then from the search results, select Raspberry Pi Pico, RP2040, RP2350 and change the version to 4.2.0 and hit the installed button. Once installed, you should be able to select the Adafruit Feather RP2350 HSTX from the list of available boards. You also need to change the port to the Adafruit port. Once your ID is all set, please go ahead and download the demo codes from the Electra's GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Before uploading a course, in order to display the corresponding course, you need to change the file name on line number 396 of the UI underscore screen 2.c. Then to enter the burn mode, you need to long press the boot key and then short press the reset key and then release it followed by releasing the boot key to force the board to enter the burn mode. 
Once the code is loaded, go ahead and enjoy the beautiful world of electronics via Electra's Pico 2 RP2350 Starter Kit. To know which pins are the sensors connected to, you can check the schematic diagram of the board. The GPIO pins are also indicated on the board. This is an absolute perfect platform for my son as he is still in the beginning phase of learning and he can concentrate on sensors first before we go ahead and build this on a breadboard and build a bigger project. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.